Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hope everybody's doing amazing. How is everybody doing? We are uh, back here on the moose grind. Let's see. Can we get the big males today? That is the question. Oh, we'll be doing more of them, Cold Killer, for sure. Well, and I gotta lower the volume of the music a little bit. I think it's slightly too high. Uh, actually, it's probably fine at two. There we go. We'll just, we'll just keep it right there. I gotta pull up my uh, Great One Grinding sheet real quickly. So, you guys didn't know, and you probably have seen the pin message. Um, a couple days ago, EW confirmed that uh, herd management is not cheating and that they don't see it as that and that it's okay to do. So, we're gonna be mixing it up on the channel and don't worry, I'm not going to make all the content just HM like it used to be. We're gonna do a variety of all of them. Um, we're going to do herd management, we're gonna not do it on other grinds and then we're gonna do uncut hunts, we're gonna do challenge videos, we're gonna do everything. I'm gonna try and make it so this channel's got literally everything that you guys want. So what I've decided is for the moose grind, I'm going to use herd management because I really want to get a big albino. Um, for the bear grind, we will not use it. And then for the, what's it called? For the uh, species like seek a deer and like most species will probably just not do it because I know a lot of you like seeing just everything get shot. And then of course we're going to do some multiplayer streams with Brobra. We're going to do our normal challenge videos and just random things that we do with Brobra all the time. Um, and things like that. Things like that. And uh, by the way, guys, tomorrow I will be posting my uh, collab video with Lady Legends. So that should be quite a bit of fun. Be sure to uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty awesome. I'm very excited for it. And hope that you guys are too. I wasn't, but they're starting to update the game quite a bit, DS. Will you do some kind of Leighton Lodge series? I was thinking about doing that, yeah. That's definitely something that I've considered and I probably will do in the future. I've got like the whole lodge like named that anyway, so we'll see. You want the birch typical rack so bad? Me too, Tucker. That's my dream combo. That's really what I want to find. If we can find that, I will be so, so happy. Like you have no idea how happy I'll be if we find it. Yeah, other weasel. I mean, everybody's got their own opinions on it. We're not going to get too deep into that side because it usually just causes arguments, but. Really need to get my bear great one. Same, Caswell. I need to find one. They're, they're elusive, dude. They're very elusive. Those things are tough to get. Really tough. Got to adjust the angle of my microphone a little bit. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Hey, James, hope you're doing good. You didn't miss anything yet. We just got started. Don't see anything crazy. Okay, I believe this zone is shot down already. Yeah. That zone is already twos. And that's just a female. To be honest, I could probably move the tent now. Hey, JR, how's it going? Yeah, exactly, Weasel. And that is honestly the developer's view on it as well. Like, from what they've been saying, it really seems like that is the views of the devs. It's just, play the game how you want. If you're not using external mods, then it's fair game. I think the big thing that we as creators need to just mention is that if you're a new player and you want to get into the game and you want to do something like herd management, just be aware that there's a good chance that that particular diamond will not feel as special to you. So if you want to keep diamonds special, don't do herd management. But if you really don't care about the diamonds and you just want to go for like the really like cream of the crop trophies, then go for it. 
Um, I, I can't remember, JR. I went through some of the comments. There's like 250 of them, though, so I definitely didn't see every comment. Alright, let's move this. We need to go to probably the other side. I've already covered most of the zones here. Like, none of these have anything in them anymore. It's like, this lake's pretty much done. Uh, this one definitely still has some males, though. Uh, yeah, Peaceful Pug, those are very hard to find. Nothing over there. Okay, that guy's small enough to keep. Uh, yeah, MXM, probably one of these days. I'm sure we will. We were kind of talking about it when we were recording yesterday. There is a possibility we could do a stream in the future. I had uh, quite a bit of fun recording with ladies, so we will hopefully do some more stuff in the future. Oh! Yo! Go away! Ah! Oh, that scared me. Oh, I hate moose sometimes. Oh my gosh, I hate it when they do that. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that gave me a heart attack, man. That's a, that's ridiculous. Yeah, you, you stupid moose. So rude. <laughs> I uh, yeah, creative. We're, we're doing great, man. Oh man. Oh no worries, Alex. Thank you for stopping by. Almost as mean as Nate to Doin. Well, now that's another story right there, Cold Killer. Hope you guys enjoyed the angler video today. It actually did surprisingly well. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect you guys to be uh, like that interested in in an angler video. So that that was a pleasant surprise. We might do some more uh, angler content in the future. That's uh videos instead of streams. Glad you liked it, Tucker. The moose are hunting me today? They really are. These moose are just running me over like it's nothing, man. It's like they don't even care. They're just a bunch of old, grumpy, rude moose. How many zones do I have for moose on Rev? I haven't been keeping track of them, uh, Dominique. Right now, there's um, not really any point in keeping track because my zones are still moving all the time. There's a ton of solos that are that still need to get shot and so they're gonna move so it's not really worth it for me to keep track of the amount of zones until i actually get to a point where i can move on from most of them because then i know they won't move anymore i know johnny i know hey doan how's it going just trying to help i think it was hilarious i think it was absolutely hilarious uh how brober just brought that up and was like huh you know, bro, uh, shout out to Doe, and he gives us all the all the amazing tips for the angler. They don't work for me, but he gives them. <laughs> that, that just made me crack up. It's like, yeah, it's a Brober problem. Brober just can't get things to work. I'm on Rev on Tule Coast, uh, Rai. Hey, TTV, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. I'll be getting the great one soon. We're trying, Julian. I mean, I don't expect it to happen super fast, because it's only been like 180 kills since our last great one. But we can hope that it'll be a quick grind and that we'll get a nice one. Hey, Gear, how's it going? Uh, Johnny with the seven months. Holy, forgot about this again. Yeah, it can hide from you. It really can. That little message, uh, it hides from you. So I think a good bit of these zones kind of in the middle of the map are already shot down. I don't really think there's anything too special. I did find a random diamond at one of these lakes though. I think it was uh, this one down here. I think it was this one. I found a random diamond out of nowhere. Or not a diamond, a troll. Was it a troll? It was either a troll or a diamond. It was a level five. Shut up, moose. Nobody cares. Yeah, it is, Johnny. He got stuck with that name. <laughs> you gonna go for more legendary fish? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Also, Brober, how's it going? I don't know if I said hi or not. I saw your message, and then I, I read off uh, Doan's. So I, I can't remember if I said hi. 
Jeez, still another week to go, Johnny. That's wild. Last great one was crazy. Dude, it, it's literally like one of my dream 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 dreams not even a word, Scarecrow. It's literally my dream great one. Like one of my top three dream moose combinations, and we got it. Just amazing. Oh yeah, I get you on that one, uh, TTV. Definitely. I can see how that would uh, <laughs> how it'd be uh, ma make you hesitant. Nice, Robert. Nice. Exactly, creative title. See, you know what I was saying. <laughs> you know what I was saying. Hey, Jebba, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. He just wanted to play with his name and now he can't go back. Pretty much, Cold Killer. YouTube's rude like that. They'll lock your name. I wonder if it's a measure they put in to prevent, um... People, like, faking themselves as other accounts, you know? Because there's an issue with people's accounts getting hacked and then them changing the name. Or, like, somebody changing the names to impersonate somebody and then changing to another and then another. So maybe they did it so that you get locked eventually. I feel like that would make sense. Seems like it would, at least. Do I get my great ones names in the lodge? Not really. It's never been something I've really done, Caswell. Instead, I name like uh, random animals on the map and then we just leave them. Like if I spawn like, le let's say a level two rare moose that's like super tiny, we, we left it on the map and gave it a name. Never had to suffer name locks, just changed it off enough YouTube was like, let him crack on. <laughs> Sounds about right. Two name changes every 14 days. That's pretty crazy. What's my plan today? Uh, we're going to go around a lot of the zones that we haven't been hunting and try to shoot down a bunch of the big males to try and get them to be smaller. And then we're going to eventually move back to my main zones after we kind of get rid of some of these ones I don't like. Nice, GWP. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure, Blake. I'm not sure. Because I'm, I'm still not 100% sure if I'm not going to go back to Medved. Like, I might do the Medved grind again at some point. So, I'm a little reluctant to shoot down any of the, uh, the pets that we kept on there. Because I don't know if we're going to be going back. Like, we might do another Medved grind at some point. Let's do this right here. See if that'll force him in. Oh, that lag. Holy. That was some awful lag. Where did that come from? Jeez. Okay, yeah. This is the lake that I killed the five at the other day. Why did I leave Medved? Because the respawn stopped working properly. They'd get stuck and then randomly come back. It, it was weird. You get almost all your moose in Medved. Yeah, Medved's a really good map for them. It just started being inconsistent for me. Otherwise, otherwise I would have kept doing it. About 400 away. Yeah, nothing over there. Lag equals great one? I hope so. That'd be amazing. Come on, Moosey. Where are you, see? Right now, I'm kind of just checking these big lakes in the middle because they're going to be the most annoying. Oh, there's a moose. The female, though. Honestly, I don't really think there's anything at this lake. Unless we had a random random straggler pop up over there. I think I'm going to focus on ones where I know for a fact there's some males there. Like uh, this lake over here. 
has a few that I need to go shoot. <laughs> true, TTV, true. Thanks, the only map other than New England I don't have any trophies from. Oh, wow, creative. Yeah, hopefully you'll get a Rev Diamond soon, man. Oh, wow, Dominique. What's my favorite great one that I've killed? Uh, the one that I killed a few days ago, Clixie. The most recent Call of the Wild video on the channel. That is my favorite one. That is my favorite great one that we've ever taken down. Just such a beautiful combination with that, that two-tone fur type and the giant non-tip rack. Just such a dream great one to get. Want to get one every 6 to 80 kills, but it's more like 30. Wait, for what? Oh, got you. One that's kind of like in the middle. Uh, what I would do, Johnny, I, I would just go ahead and shoot... I would probably shoot about 30 level 1s or so if you want to get it to that level. I would shoot like 30 of your level 1s. Maybe 30 or 40, actually. I probably shot like... I'd, I'd say I easily shot like 60 level ones to get my uh, to get my map back to being like a normal map. So I would imagine that if you want to be kind of in the middle, since you were getting one every 30 kills, you'll probably need to kill about 30 level ones, maybe 40 of them at the most. But I mean, that's just a guess. You never know. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? Oh. Moosey, why are you here? Your zone is way over there. I don't get these moose sometimes, man. Oh, hey. Aw, he's so cute. That is adorable. I'm going to do it for different species, Kathy. So I've decided we're going to herd manage moose. Um, I'm not going to herd manage black bear. And I probably won't herd manage most species, to be honest. I'll probably just do it on the uh, grinds where I really want a super rare. Like, uh, I'm, I'm going to do it with moose because I want to get an albino super rare. So we're going to do it with the moose, but we're going to kind of switch it. We're going to switch it up depending on the grind. Because I want to make sure there's content for everybody to enjoy, no matter what you like watching. And I think for the most part, I will not do herd management videos. Um, that's just, it, it's, I enjoy it more in streams than I do videos. So I think for videos, it's primarily going to be like uncut hunts, uh, challenge videos, um, Video's testing out weird ammo types and hunting lesser hunted species, so that's kind of how I'm going to split it up to make sure that there's something for everybody. What's my favorite candy? I don't really eat candy, uh, Caleb. I don't really eat candy nowadays, but like when I was a kid, any type of sour candy was my favorite. Oh, it is creative. I tried it in the past and it was awful. Just kill a diamond whitetail. Nice, Landon. That's awesome. Congrats on your diamond whitetail. That is awesome. Some of those big diamond whitetail look pretty cool, so... Oh, I'm apparently calling my dog over here by accident. So, there's a zone right there. I'm gonna go all the way to the other end and plop a tent here. And we can try to shoot down this zone a bit. With a mellow diamond, will you do HM for whitetail? I don't know, cold killer. Um, I don't know if I want to go through all my latent and set it back up again, because it took forever. Like, ah, oh man. Yeah, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll fully manage whitetail again. We might do a little bit just to give us a slightly increased chance of getting a nice super rare, but 
I cannot bring myself to do full herd management on latent whitetail anymore since we undid it once. Moose are something I've never HM'd on Rev, so I'm okay with setting it up for them because I really want to get that uh that albino. Is HM just keeping the low levels or keeping the big ones? It's keeping the low levels so that you can get more big levels. But it can also be used like, uh, you could technically do it the opposite as well. You could leave all of the, uh, big ones and force small respawns. So you could do it either way, to be honest. Um, I have a friend who is doing reverse herd management right now. And she got a level one minimum weight melanistic moose. Literally one of the rarest trophies I've ever seen. I, I'm impressed. Like, I, I could never have thought of doing that. Pretty incredible, honestly. Could you guys imagine getting a minimum weight melanistic moose? Like, holy. That is the trophy of a lifetime. Yeah, Kathy, it was hollow. <laughs> hollow got such a cool moose. I'm jealous. Oh, it's a floater. Oh, you silly floaters. Man. Uh, I tried to make it out. It didn't work. Well, that moose has got the best of us. We'll come back to it later. That thing's going to be floating for a while. Yeah, for real, Kathy. I can't believe that she, that she went through that to get it. She actually got it pretty quick, though. Not going to lie. It happened pretty fast. I was surprised. Okay, we might need to reset the time again to get them here. Hey, Ben, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Let's go to about 15-ish. What's my biggest moose? I have a 307 diamond from before they tweaked the uh, diamond ratings. And so I'll never be able to top that one. I'll never be able to beat a 307. Because they no longer can get that big. But of the current like uh, scoring for the moose, I think my biggest one is like 301.09 or something. It's a big one still. Got your second great one, Whitetail, 890 kills, scored 636. Nice, Alan. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Let's see. We got any moosey boys here? What is the max rating for moose right now? Um, I don't know. I don't know what the max... Oh, that's a nice moose. We got to take him down. I don't know what the max is because Truax is one of those things where... Even if we think we found the max, one day there's always somebody that finds one slightly bigger. But I know around 302 or just above 302 is pretty much the biggest people get. But I suppose it's possible that one day we could see a 303 pop up. But 302 seems to be kind of the top of where they can make it to. Just got a 300.8 uh, not last week. That's not bad. 300.8 is a really good one. Definitely uh, bigger than the majority that I get. Ah, uh, too low. Oh my gosh, that second shot was insane. I can't believe we made that. Oh, nice, Johnny. That's good. Did you get the great one, Moose, yet? We got one a few days ago. Uh, since that one, it's been about 180 kills, and we haven't got another one, so we're continuing that grind. Got to get that fabled birch. All right, later, TTV. Thank you for being here. I know, right, Kathy? I can't believe I hit that second one. That was crazy. How 
How's my day? It's been good, Brantley. I've been really, uh, really happy with how things have been going recently. Between, like, uh, herd management being confirmed by the devs that it's okay to do and it's not cheating, to the angler getting some really awesome updates and you guys actually really liking that content and getting that great one a few days ago. Like, things have been so good recently. I've been so happy. Oh, there we go. There's a, there's a moosey. Oh, that's the one that we spooked off. That is the one that we spooked. Man. Next great one is Ashen Typical. I wouldn't mind that cold killer. Not gonna lie. As long as it's got the typical rack or the birch fur type, doesn't really matter to me which one we get. I would love either of those. Now, if we get a birch typical rack, I will be so happy. That'll be the ultimate trophy for me. Nothing there. Nothing there at all. Um, I don't think there's anything notable at those zones, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't searched down here a lot. I probably should go down there. Yeah, definitely should go down here. We'll run the coast over here. Start playing Hunter Call of the Wild. Your beginner guides are helping so much. Keep grinding. Your content has been. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you so much, dude. And I'm glad that it's been helping you. That's really awesome. Hey, Sir Drama, how's it going? How many great one moose do I think I'll get? I don't know at this point. I haven't decided really. What map is this again? This is Rev on Tuli Coast. Can you do a video of all my of all my great ones? Ah, uh, I've thought about that. That would be a long video though. But that could be cool. Just to do a video of all uh all 31 of our great ones, that would be pretty crazy. Got four troll diamond mountain goats in the same week. Oh no, Austin. I mean, it's hard enough to even find a max level mountain goat. That would suck to get trolled four times. You should do a lodge tour sometime? I did one recently, actually. Oh yeah, I, I don't have any diamond red deers, Kathy. No, not, 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 a, not a single one. Nope, nope, don't got those. Two Ashens with spider Rex was very disappointed. I mean, it's cool, but I wanted a different fur. Not gonna lie, Slizzy, that's pretty unlucky to get two of the same combination when there's 24 different combos. That's pretty crazy that you got two of the same one. That's the same combination that I got for my first, like, special fur type one. It's kind of grown on me, but definitely not my favorite. <laughs> yeah, cold killer. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. Have I used the Leighton Lodge? No, I haven't because I'm saving it for a potential YouTube series. I haven't decided if I'll do the series yet, but I've been saving the Lodge for that in case I decide to do it. No great ones today, Dawn. Yeah, I did Peaceful Pug, and then a couple months before that I did a full Lodge tour. Hey, Zachy, how's it going, dude? Welcome back. Any quail for the multi-mount yet? Uh, we got a big gold, but no diamond. Yeah, I played Classic. I actually started on Classic long before Call of the Wild came out. Do I have a tent that I can plop? No, I don't. That's a mistake. Whoops. Scarecrow made an oopsie. I forgot the tent. Oh, well. We're just going to hope I can run this whole coast in 33 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy, Johnny. That's rare. Nice, Brantley. Nice. Have we killed any diamonds yet? No, we haven't got a diamond yet. 
We are roaming around trying to find uh, all of our moose that are in parts of the map that we don't go to normally. What am I doing? We're hunting moose, uh, Verz. We're going for some moose. Hey, rascal. Just getting into hunting games, which one is better way of the hunter or call of the wild? It depends on the kind of experience you're looking for, Yeggs. Uh, if you want a realistic, slow-paced experience that has a lot of, like, attention to detail in terms of, like, real-life stuff, uh, then way of the hunter is the way to go. If you want a little bit of a faster pace, like, more laid-back and relaxed hunting game, then that's call of the wild. Uh, you find more animals, there's more freedom just to do whatever you want in Call of the Wild, and there's uh, also a lot more maps and trophies because the game has been out for a long time. But then Way of the Hunter has some more realistic aspects like a, a genetic system and aging animals and things like that and a slower gameplay style, so kind of whichever one sounds more appealing to you is the one I would go with. Oh, that is hilarious, bro, bro. That is hilarious. But just a, just a heads up, um, for the future, M mild stuff is okay. I've said this before, like, my mild stuff in the chat is fine, uh, bro, bro, and Ben. As long as it's not, like, F-bombs and stuff, you know? If it's mild, though, then that's not a big deal to me. As long as it's nothing, like, super bad. And context, of course, matters as well. Depending on the context, that can affect it. Um, that is a moose. There's gotta be a male with her. Uh, yes, definitely, Johnny. <laughs> Just the mild hot sauce in this chat. Yes, exactly. Just the mild hot sauce. We don't want it to be too spicy. You know, some people like, uh, like, uh, like hot salsa and others like mild salsa. We, we like to keep it like uh, in the middle. <laughs> hey, Shayna, how's it going? How many great ones do you think you have in all, including blacktail, whitetail, etc.? Um, I have 31 in total, MXM. Amongst all of the different great ones. Yeah, that's the female. We got this big boy, though. Yeah, gotta love mobile. <laughs> hey, to be to be fair, though, Zacky, it's just auto-correcting to your commonly used words. Am I right? <laughs> that is when you're talking to do. <laughs> hey, Nathan, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. We're going around some of the external zones and just kind of shooting down as many of the threes and fours as we can find. We already found a few that we need to take down. But I made the great mistake of not having a free tent slot, so I can't place a tent anywhere. So yeah, rip. My bad. <laughs> Oh, hey there, we need you. And you. Oh my, that's a big boy. That thing's nice. No way I hit that hard shot, man. And that hard shot! Dude, no way! Ow, oh, Lynx! No wonder they were running. Oh, no, 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 no. That was almost bad, man. Oh my gosh, that was a clippable moment, though. <laughs> Clutch hard shots. I can't believe we hit those. That's gotta be like the quickest little double heart shot on running animals I've had. This had to be heart, right? Oh, his lower neck. 
<laughs> well, that's still impressive, though. I'm happy that we got that. That's a nice moose, too. I will take a nice little 228 level 4. That's one zone here. There's another zone on the end. But I, I don't see them. Guessing nothing's there, so let's just move on. We got clear up to here. I'm going to need to get a tent, and then we're going to go all the way along here. So we'll head back up here. We'll even check those two lakes that are close, I think. You think it was chasing the lynx? It probably was. It looked like it. Lower neck's even more impressive. I mean, technically, yeah, I guess. It's definitely harder to hit. What the? Bro, what? Oh, I, I've heard about this bug. These rugs show some weird stuff. I think it's from Verhonga, if I'm not mistaken, right? I think that's what somebody was saying. Oh, I need to remove a tent. That's what I need to go do. Um, this lake, I think we don't need to check anymore. It is a strange bug, that's for sure. Do I have a map setup loadout? I think I do, yeah. I have the get the Geeter Dunn loadout. Or let me let me see. Yeah, I have the Geeter Dunn one, which I think is set up towards uh setting things up. It's set up towards the setup, you know. Alright, let's head back down here, do a quick time reset. And get things on the road. Yes, definitely, Nathan. I, I agree with you on that one. What's my favorite big rat great one moose? Uh, the one that I got. That two-tone is beautiful. I, I don't think there that I could have got a better combo. In terms of, like, big rack with, a, with any fur type. It's got to be my new favorite for that. Like, I think certain combinations just go together really well, and Big Rack uh, Two-Tone just looks really nice. But, like, uh, with the Birch, I'd rather have the Typical Rack on it. Like, it depends on the fur type. Just, like, Spruce and Typical probably looks really good. And then, I bet, like, Fabled Oak and Big Non-Tip, or Fabled Oak and Spider would probably look good, just because of the antler color. And two-tone typical would also look really good. Common fur was totally the best fur. Ah, uh, sure. I mean, if that's if that's what you want to say, definitely. Nice Nighthawk. You have that happen all the time? Sounds about right. Common fur is goaded. I mean, it's rare now. Since uh, you can't get them anymore. That's like a special thing to have. Would be cool if they added a new fur type to all of the existing great ones. Oh, 100%, Ben. I'd love to see that. I've been wanting that for so long. Like, I, I want Whitetail to get some new ones. And I also want uh, Red Deer to get some new ones. Because currently Whitetail just have Fabled Piebald and then Albino and Mela, but those are like impossible to get. They need one of those furs where it's just like an uncommon instead of a rare. I have been saying for a while, Fabled Leucistic would be pretty insane for Whitetail. What I would say is probably the best option is make Fabled Piebald a little bit easier to get and then add a Fabled Leucistic that has the old rarity of the Fabled Piebald. I think that would just be phenomenal.
Common, common quad over two tone pain. Wow. Okay, Kathy. I see. How, I, I see what you're saying. I see how it is. Talking down to the to the the two tone. Wow. Oh. Hey. That's a couple mooses we need to smoke. A mellow mixed with a piebald mixed with an albino. I mean, wouldn't that just be like a piebald melanistic? Like it's melanistic and then it gets piebald on it as well? Hey, Sonaldo, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Nah, Zacky, nah. Let's be honest. Two tone non tip better. I'm just saying. Uh-oh. I may have just made a mistake. That's going to be turn become a solo cow zone now. Oh well, we're s we're still in the setup phase anyway. We're still trying to shoot down the zone, so I might as well just boop them all. Oh wait, there's another female. Yay. In that case, let's just boop. Boop. All right, he should die. Hey, Kenneth, you didn't miss too much except us getting ran over by a lot of moose. We've, we've been getting smoked by him real hard. One eighty-four. How can you differentiate between different red deer racks? Uh, just seeing them a lot and then paying attention to the the differences between them. Like, for example, some of them may look almost identical, but have different time count or different amounts of mass on the beams. It's little things like that that you gotta pay attention to, pretty much. Where did we pop this one? Over here, it looks like. There we go, vital organ, beautiful. Oh, the great one, red deer racks. Well, it's the same thing for those, just time count and uh, the vegetation as well. The, the way the vegetation goes on the antlers is a way that you can tell as well. One fifty. Ah, uh, we could go check this. I don't think there's actually males here. Yeah, let's actually go down here. What the? I'm placing here. Why why did it place up there? Bro. Waypoints are broken. Oh gosh, I'm lagging now. Oh no, what's happening? That was weird. My game's just dying right now, guys. Yeah, still can't place it. We'll just have to walk this way. Yeah, I'll still be Black Bear grinding. We should have a Black Bear stream soon, probably. Might do one later, I'm not sure. Grinding Red Deer till a 280 plus spawns. Beautiful, Zacky. No, Nighthawk, I don't. Am I going to do red deer grinds? Uh, maybe at some point, but I mean, I've already got every single great one rack for the red deer, so I don't really have too much interest in red deer anymore. But I mean, at some point, we might return to it. I haven't really decided yet. Kind of just waiting to see if they will add any different variations to the Red Deer Great One. If they add some more variations, 100% will go back to it.
Nice, we got him down. Grind for a 280 plus? Nah, Zach. Yeah, I can't bring myself to do another Red Deer grind. Not after the 6,000 and then 6,700 kill grinds. That was just too much. It broke me for Red Deer. Yeah, I probably won't grind Red Deer anytime soon, Kathy. I'm going to focus on other stuff where we still have trophies that we haven't got. That's why we got a heavy focus on moose at the moment. Because there's so many variations to the moose great one and I want them all. <laughs> yeah, I know I haven't got the super rare Mela, but to be honest, I, I doubt we ever will. It is what it is. Yeah, that's the two we spooked off. Well, where'd you come from, bro? Ah, no! Oh, the heart rate's the worst. Why does it do that? I mean, it's realistic, but why? Feels bad. He's gonna get away. To be honest, though, he he's kind of a small three. He might be small enough to leave. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll leave him. Oh, definitely, Mad Dog. Yeah, Miles, we are. I've decided we're going to herd manage Moose, and then maybe Whitetail, and then the rest of the things that we hunt, we won't. That's how we're going to do it. It's going to be a, an even split between HM grinds, non-HM grinds, and then other random stuff like multiplayer streams with Brobra, just kind of running around and shooting whatever. Gonna try and keep it to where we got everything on the channel. Because I know there's so many amazing ways to play the game and everybody likes a different play style, so we're gonna make sure there's content for everybody. Man, this is a big lake. We might be running around here for a while. Probably reset a few times so that we can make sure that they are going to show up at their zones. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be random. We're gonna be doing random wheel videos again at some point. That's something I actually want to record soon. Uh, yeah, Johan. We just haven't been doing content because he's been focusing on his uh, transition into other games. What days and time do I stream? I stream every day except for Wednesday and Saturday. Though recently I've been trying to stream occasionally on those days as well. Nothing over here. Imagine they added a great one capper, Callie. That would be something else. That'd be really interesting. Nothing over there. Said that you have half as many great ones as Crow. How did you do that? I've been grinding them for like two months. Still haven't found one. I mean, it's... It's random. Great ones are very RNG based, so. Some people get them quickly, others don't get them quickly. That's just kind of how the great one is meant to be. It's meant to be something that you can't really predict.
So I think we're going to go here. We're going to kind of look over in this area and then move over here. Gosh, why is it doing that? It keeps putting my marker somewhere else that I don't want it to be. He probably would, Toby. Uh, what's false? Water Buffalo Great One would be huge in antler size. Oh, definitely. Those horns would be insane. Oh, you're applying to uh, uh, the Red Deer one. Okay. Um, yeah, for Tiabaroa, the Red Deer are on the top half above the river, as well as the Starter Lake. And two places on the river. I've heard of that, Lambie. I haven't had it happen to myself, but I have heard it. Um, not really, Matthew. There, there's no signs to a great one. Like, Great Ones don't give you signs before they spawn. They just kind of spawn out of nowhere. I've had 31 Great Ones, and there wasn't a single time where I was able to predict that it was going to happen. Except maybe one time, and it was just a lucky guess. Usually, Great Ones just show up when you're not expecting them. Kind of like my uh, my recent uh, moose. That was the last thing I expected to see that night. Nothing around there. We're going to loop around here, I think. I've never been around the backside of that. Hey, Noah, how's it going? Hey, Phalanx. How many kills was the last Whitetail? Like 570, I believe. Pretty quick grind. I can actually give you the exact count. Just give me a second and I'll find it. Uh, it was 540, actually. 540 kills for our last great one, Whitetail. Then this last Moose was 1,200. What's the normal for Whitetail? Like normal kill count? Usually one to one to two thousand. One to two thousand is the average for the Whitetail grind. Had some signs when my bear spawned because of all of a sudden my respawns were like threes and fours. Okay, well yeah, that's that can be a sign that it's on your map, I guess. But like, there's no way to know leading up to that, is what I'm saying. Last week you shot a 300.4 moose. That is awesome, Marine. That is awesome. Yeah, you did, Noah. I think you were probably the only person that guessed the exact combination. Trying an experience to see if I can grind white tail and Layton from level 1 to 60 and get a great one before level 60. What do you think the chances of success are? Um, with Whitetail, I'd say there's a good chance it could happen. I'd say with Whitetail, that's definitely doable. I tried it with Red Deer a long time ago and did not get it. Given I stopped at like level 42, because uh, I just uh, kind of lost interest in doing it, but... It was still, uh... Red Deer a lot harder. Yeah, you did, Sonaldo. You did. I think, like I was saying, I think there was only a couple people that guessed it right.
Oh, you're talking about the uh, the glitch that used to happen, uh, Rascal? Yeah, that was a bad glitch. That uh, that caused me to lose my first great one. Turned into a diamond. It was terrible. Glad they eventually fixed that, though. But man, it was tragic when it was happening. What is the average number of kills for a great one moose? Uh, one to two thousand just like whitetail. Though, there does seem to be a lot more situations where people get them sub one thousand with the uh, moose than there is for whitetail. Is the power pack worth it? I would say that if you don't have the Yukon DLC for the 300 Magnum, then it's a no-brainer to get the power pack. Um, if you do have the 300, the only purpose I would say the power pack has for you would be the 7mm bolt action, because it actually is a very strong rifle, and it's a it's just an awesome gun. Three rounds of 7mm, can't really go wrong there. It's pretty good. How rare is it for the level 2 Whitetail to be a diamond? Um, it's decently rare, Kenneth. It's decently rare. Okay, guys, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to continue searching these areas where we're going to be running around and seeing nothing for a while? Or would you prefer that we try to stack uh, diamonds up at the top to get our zones to push down more? Because I want to try and get uh, fives in our main zones and then shoot down the rest of the map. I'm thinking I should probably try to get the fives before I shoot down the rest of the map. Because that's probably the only way we're going to make this happen quickly. I've got one five up here already, but that's definitely not enough to get any major effects on pushing the rest of them down. Main first, then others. All right, perfect. And just a heads up, guys, if you haven't ever watched my herd management before, I used to do quite a bit of it. Um, I've never been one to keep diamonds stacked for the whole grind. I know some people like to do that. It's not what I do. I stack them until I've shot down the rest of the map, and then I kill all the fives and just continue shooting whatever pops up. So that's how we have been doing things here when we used to do it, and uh, it's how we're going to do it now as well. There's a three right there. Hey, Simon, how's it going? Hope you're doing amazing. Come on, little three. Come on, turn for me. Come on, come on. He's he's just go. He's just looking the other way. Now he's behind. Don't. <laughs> Gosh, man. This is the smartest moose in existence. He is so smart. Like. That is crazy. We got him, finally. <laughs> oh my gosh, the amount of time that took. Hold on, I'm going to change the title of the, uh, the, uh, stream. There we go. Gave it a more appropriate stream title. No males over there. All right. So my first legendary red deer messed up the shot because I was confused over it. Ambushing me. Logged off fast because I wanted another chance. Will my first shot be registered? Um. No, if you logged off after you shot it, it wouldn't be. Yeah, exactly, Dylan. It does take a lot of work. Um, my whitetail grind, when we were doing that back in the day, well, I mean, not really back in the day, like six or seven months ago or whenever it was, uh, we, um, we were setting up for over a hundred hours. It took a long time. Hey, Eli, nothing good yet. Nothing good. There 
There's another little feller. Do I remember my first subscriber? Uh, yeah, I definitely do. Or one of them, at least. I wouldn't say, I'd say it's hard to know your first subscriber, because sometimes they'll subscribe and not ever say anything or comment or anything. So it's hard to find the exact, like, first one. But I do remember the first few, like, regulars in the live streams. I definitely remember the first few people that were regulars in the streams. You don't know what just happened? Wait. What happened, Zaki? Lost a level 8 albino red deer because I set the time back. You said that'll help put it back to shore and now it's gone? Uh, yeah. It, it's, it definitely does, Zaki. It puts it to the closest shore. It, it could have pushed it to a shoreline to, like, the left or right of you. It won't always put it back to the same spot. It'll, it'll go to, like, the nearest shoreline. So you might have to search around the whole lake. That's what I've always done, and it always puts them back. It's just... It, it changes which shore it puts them on sometimes. Welcome back, Nathan. I uh, know, Dynamic. We're gonna be we're gonna be stacking them to try and push down the rest of the zones. If you didn't know, we finally decided like how we're gonna do things with the content on the channel. We're gonna do a couple herd management grinds and then a couple grinds that are non-herd management and then also have like challenges and uh, like testing videos for like, you know, weird ammo types and things and the uncut hunts. We're gonna get a mix of literally everything we can. And uh, so I've decided that moose are one that I'm gonna manage because I wanna get a super rare albino. And then we'll probably manage whitetail again as well. To try and get the diamond mela. And then for all the other grinds, we're not going to do any type of herd management for the most part. Unless you guys want to see like a specific one. We're going to try and keep it mixed up here on the channel. All types of content for everybody. Because I got a lot of stuff that I enjoy. That, uh, that I have a ton of fun with. We're just going to do whatever I'm having fun with, really. Because you guys have made it pretty clear that you just want to see me doing the content that I love. And so that's what we're going to do. From now on on the channel, we're going to prioritize making sure that we're having fun. Hence the uptick in like a more like multiplayer content with like Brobra. Because that's some of the most fun uh, content that I've made. Oh, he twitched. He twitched. He twitched. My gosh. Well then, that was something else. Yeah, I've never understood that uh, sentiment, uh, Hiago. Hopefully I said your name right. Uh, Kenneth, thank you for the membership, dude. Appreciate that. Enjoy the uh, perks that come with that, the emos, the extra Discord channels, the scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Really appreciate it. What does Twitch mean? He moved right as I shot. Like, his, uh, his body made a slight shift. Without any type of animation. Um, I used to when I was Red Deer grinding, uh, Gibbons. I haven't grinded Red Deer in a long time, though. Let's go get this big four. Am I on the wrong track? Yeah, those are very old. That's the wrong track. Here we go. There's our moose right there. How much does a membership cost? It's uh, 99 cents. Uh, you can earn a lot of money hunting red deer and lions, uh, Danae. That's, that's like two of the best ways. I've got videos for both on the channel. Oh, I know, right, Sonaldo? That was one of the old ones that I used to use. Hey, Dwald, how's it going? I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome. Oh, my... Holy, these are giants. Wait, that's Diamond Rack, I think. Is that Diamond Rack? We might have to leave that one. That guy's a big male. That guy's pretty massive right there. Reloading might help.
Pretty sure that's a dime? Yeah, from the side it kind of looks like it, but I, I'm really not sure because there's some smaller ones that look like that from the side. Um... I don't think so, but that's questionable. That's questionable, is it? That's a maybe? Yeah, it's a big maybe. I don't know. I mean, if anything, I think it's probably big enough to where we could leave it for now and then shoot it later if we get better stuff to spawn. We get this guy down. Jeez. We hit him, but we didn't get him the second time, so he's not going to die, I don't think. Pretty sure if you get flesh wound with a 300, you got to go for another shot. At least at farther ranges you do. Pretty sure that's a dime. Yeah, it looks big. I don't know though. It's a questionable one, so we'll leave it for now. Not gonna lie, guys, it feels good to be able to do herd management without being worried about whether or not it's an exploit or not. It, it sure is nice that we finally got confirmation from the devs as to how they feel. It gives me some ease of mind and I can actually just have fun and enjoy it again. It honestly is really nice. 237, that's a big boy right there. Because I always really enjoyed the strategy involved with setting things up, and I honestly really missed it. Though I did kind of get a new love for just shooting everything grinds as well. During our, uh, like, six or seven month break, or however long it was. Got me to a point where I really enjoy, like, all the different ways of grinding. What class is a mountain lion? I'm pretty sure it's class 5 if I'm not mistaken. Johnny would know for sure. Hey eyes on, you didn't miss too much. We've got a uh, pretty big 4 on the map. And then I've got a 5 on the map as well. We're trying to get some more of them to pop up. Doing what we can. Oh wow, Miles. That's wild. That's the four, which means the three is over here. Yeah, definitely, Blake. And the, the stance that I always had was that I didn't care what side EW took. I just wanted them to take a side and actually tell us how they felt. Because the whole, like, not saying anything was just, it was getting old. It was something they needed to speak out on so that we could actually get real answers. So even, even if they had been against it, yeah, I would have been happy with it regardless. Just hearing it from them is something that needed to happen. Prison Mike, thank you for the uh, membership. Dude, really appreciate it. Enjoy all of the perks that come with that, the emotes, the uh, scrapped uploads on the channel, the extra Discord channels, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I don't think we're ever going to get anything there. If anything, I need to just get a zone. I need to get a, uh, a tent near here because that's actually a really fire zone over there. And I think we need to be near it. This zone right here isn't an important one anymore. Because I never get the males to come back anyway. So let's uh, skedaddle over there. Yeah, Simon, I did. I do believe. That was hilarious. Anybody know what... Uh, okay, I already answered that. It's got an eight mythical links just off of diamond. Nice, Mad Dog.
Uh, the seven millimeter for sure, gear. If you're going for red deer, the seven mil is a powerhouse. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious, Simon. <laughs> hey, that's what happens when you change your names a bunch. Like, YouTube locks you to that name now. Definitely wild. Shh, quiet moose. I don't need to hear it. How can you get a diamond whitetail? Uh, there's a couple different ways that you could, uh, Jefferson. It depends on what route you want to take. If you like multiplayer, you can definitely get good success by uh, finding a latent server that's at the whitetail time and then just going to all the lakes and uh, parts of the river that you enjoy uh, hunting for whitetail. It doesn't even have to be latent. It can be uh, any, any map that has whitetail. But latent has some outposts that are really close to good whitetail, so I do recommend it. Another option is you could try herd management, which is essentially for whitetail, just shoot the level twos and the level threes and just don't shoot the level ones. And eventually you'll end up getting a diamond respawn. Uh, the other option is to go onto your map and just shoot literally every buck in sight. All three of those methods will get you a diamond eventually. It's just a matter of time. You thought the males went extinct? I mean, sometimes it feels that way on these grinds, doesn't it? There's definitely some times where it feels like that, for sure. I don't know where we're going to put this tent to get, like, the perfect distance. Oh, really, Kenneth? It's insanely good for me. Oh, it doesn't... I, I don't mind getting added in chat dynamic. It's literally the same as somebody typing my name. Um, putting the at there doesn't actually change anything. Just having my name in chat highlights it for me. I don't mind it. I don't mind it if it's in the stream chat. People can put my name or tag me. It, the only time where it's a big deal is like if everybody's tagging me in Discord. Like, I don't like being tagged in Discord, but in the stream, that's perfectly fine. No, it's fine, Dynamic. It's fine. You didn't know. Oh, that's unfortunate, Camden. Uh, well, the thing is, man, you don't have to do HM to get rares. I'm going to tell you something right now. HM does not give you more rares. Nothing can give you more rares. They're 100% luck. So doing or not doing herd management will not get you your Mela faster. It's all just up to luck. If you just want to get some rares and you don't care how big they are, just shoot everything in sight. As far as we know, the only provable thing that herd management increases the chances of is diamonds. Some people believe it does with great ones, some don't. It's kind of one of those questionable ones where it's very hard to tell, so everybody's opinion's different on it. But with rares, 100% it doesn't affect them. That's something that we can confirm. Can we get... There we go. That's a two. That's a good sign. Okay, maybe we won't ever have to hunt this area again. Like, all these zones are shot down, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure all those zones are shot down. Hold on, guys. Give me one second.
All right. I am back. Nice, Silvio, that's awesome. I saw your comment earlier today. I didn't get a chance to respond, though, but that's pretty cool. Congrats on your moose. Well, we got two males here. Okay. Where did he go? Where? Oh, there he is. Sorry for the delay, though, guys. My daughter bumped her head, so I had to go down and, and make her feel better. I had to play with her a little bit, make her feel like it's okay, you know. So, she's good now. We played a little bit, and... I asked her if she was okay, and she was like, yeah, so I think we're good. I'm telling you, man, one of those things where, like, you know that, you know they're fine, but you still worry about them. Toddlers will scare you. And then you think back, and you're like, man, I hurt myself way worse when I was a kid. Like, I hurt myself so much worse when I was a kid. <laughs> I know, right, Nathan? Gonna gonna have to make her, make her wear a bubble suit everywhere. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna reset the time again. That's the zone that has the five in it. Hey, country life, how's it going, man? Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. What is the best way to get the Argus scope? I mean, I would say grinding stuff like Red Deer and Lions will get you the money quick enough to uh, buy the Argus. Red Deer give a lot of money. I've got a few different guides on my channel if you want to know, uh, like, exactly how to earn money and stuff like that. I've also got a beginner's series on the channel, too, that goes through the whole grinding process. Glad you like it, Silvio. Glad you like it. I, I could not believe that we got that thing. It blew my mind seeing it step out. Hey, Dron, welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Oh, that's right. I moved the tent so I could dedicate it to some of the external zones. Might as well boop some whitetail since they're going to be here. Why so many? Oh, my whitetail. Holy. Thinking we might have to start a rev whitetail grind one of these days. That's crazy. That is so many. Yeah, Dron, I decided that the grinds that we're going to do HM on is moose and whitetail. Because those are the ones that I always have the most fun doing it with. And then for other species, we'll just do whatever. If you look in the uh, the pinned comment drawn, that is kind of what we're doing. That uh, explains that we're going to be doing like an even split between everything. Because I, I really don't want to put any type of content on the back burner. Because uh, to be honest, I love playing this game in like every single way you could imagine. I have a lot of fun with the shoot everything, bear grinds, and a lot of other grinds as well. I enjoy the herd management grinds. I enjoy the multiplayer hunts with Brobra. I enjoy all the, the fun series we're doing, like the first to a diamond challenge, the uncut hunts. Like, all that is here to stay. I'm not going to make HM the focal point like I did the last time. Last time I got a bit carried away and made it like the only content I did. When in reality, there's so many other types of ways to have fun in this game that I kind of forgot about back then. And recently, I've just really been... Really been loving playing this game in so many different ways, so we're gonna make sure that everything is on the channel. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, by the way. The angler video with Brobra catching the brand new legendary fish. That was a lot of fun. It took me so long to find that thing, though. I spent literally an hour trying to find the legendary. It was a lot of fun, though. It was a lot of fun. And then tomorrow we got a, uh, we got a video with Lady Legend. Something you guys have been requesting for a very long time. So I'm happy that we finally are able to do it. Lady and I had quite a bit of fun recording yesterday. Really excited to post that video. Mm, that thing's not going to die instantly. Feels bad. Glad you liked it, Gear. Uh, yes, 610 it does. They fixed it. They finally fixed it to where the, uh, the AR is the same as any other 22. You can do the 22 trick. Uh, they decrease the spook range of it. It's great. Hey, Gibbons, how's it going? Yeah, Kathy, and I, I don't think anybody should be forced to play anyway, so... I've always said just do what you have fun with because at the end of the day, if you're not having fun playing the game, then whoa, what's the point in playing? But yeah, just do whatever type of uh, grinding you want to do. And if you don't like grinding, then you don't even have to do it. Oh, there's one there. Nice. It's rare that we get one over here. There we go. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't like stacking great ones either, Drawn. Um, and the thing is, like, that's not even part of herd management. That was just something that people added in to make herd management happen faster. The only purpose of stacking anything is to get low levels quicker. And so really the only time you would ever need to stack anything is if you are trying to make herd management happen quicker. But I mean, having having big males on your map doesn't get you more big males. If anything, it works the opposite. It'll get you more small males. So like uh, having a lot of diamonds on your map will make it so you have less chances of more diamonds showing up. But the whole purpose of stacking is just to overload your map with big males to get the f small ones quicker. I think that's something that kind of has got misunderstood and misrepresented over time. Where it wasn't explained fully, like, the whole purpose of it. I I saw the title and just ignored it, Simon. It's pretty clear that it was making fun of the type of titles that people like myself do. So I have no interest in, uh, in watching it. From what I heard, it didn't even talk about it, really. That Hearst Red Deer grind ain't as bad as you would expect. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't sound great, but it doesn't sound terrible. I've heard some people tell me that it's good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I could bring myself to do a Hirsch grind. The Euro Bison is the only exception. I like Euro Bison there. Oh, definitely Gibbons. I would love to see that. Thank you, Eyes On. That, that's my new favorite great one. Love that thing. Bear grind today? Probably not today, but maybe tonight? I, I haven't decided yet, Justin. I do want to do some bear hunting again soon. Having that moose pop up at the most unexpected time really just... It did make me kind of want to go back to the bear grind, thinking like, well, what if, what if the bear does the same thing? What if he pops up just... Out of nowhere. That would be pretty crazy, Kathy. If you can get a great one off off Hirsch, that, that would be impressive. Not too many people have done it. I mean, someday I feel like I might want to try it just to say that I've done it. That would be pretty crazy. There we go. Country Life, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it once again. How do you get so much money? I have spent... A lot of time hunting red deer. 20,000 red deer kills in total. And red deer give about 1,000 to 1,500 cash for every kill. So you could imagine that that would build up money after a while. Like over 20 million. And then of course a lot of that gets spent on time resets and things too. So it doesn't actually turn out to exactly that. But the point is you'll make a lot of money hunting red deer. 
they are one of the best species for money, primarily because they give a very high amount of cash per animal, and they're very plentiful, so you'll be finding lots of them and just making tons of money. Do you think they would release elephants? Personally, I think it would be a bit of controversial, but I'd like to hear other people's thoughts on it. I actually have a full video talking about that, Gibbons. I posted a video probably, I think it was like three weeks ago at this point, talking about elephants and why I don't think we'll ever get them. Because that is a pretty big question. A lot of people want to know if it's a possibility and if I think that they could be in the game. And uh, the short of it is no, I don't think we'll ever get elephants. And there's a lot of reasons why. There's a lot of reasons why I don't think it would work. Primarily just because of the sheer size of the animal. It would require a new lodge. It would require probably new types of animations that they've never attempted before. I mean, it, it would be the biggest animal in the game. That would be a tall task to implement. Um, not to mention the real life uh, controversy, you know. Given, like, I personally don't think they should let that stop them from doing it if they really want to. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. It, it's it's so tiny. Holy. What the? Three males. Oh my gosh, they're all so puny. What is going on? I don't want this zone to turn into all small males. This is my favorite zone. Time to start popping. I mean, we might leave that guy. He's just so small that I think we have to. Where's all these small males coming from, though? Imagine we have a great one on the map and it's just making everything come back small. Or we have, like, five diamonds that popped up in one run. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Uh, no, the animals don't grow in Call of the Wild. Now, if you're talking about, like, respawning into one, it, it is possible that anything can respawn as a great one. Is Tiabaroa still my favorite map? No, Revontulicos has taken the number one spot now. Uh, Tiabaroa is my second favorite. Silver Ridge Peaks is my third favorite. But yeah, Revon Tuli's number one for me now. It's just got such a massive variety of like ways that you can hunt the map and still get a lot of success and have a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, all our respawns are huge. That's the one that we saved. But then like the respawns are big fours as well. Maybe, Kathy. We'll see. We'll see. I don't really plan on going back to uh, to Red Deer until they give more fur types to the Great One Red Deer. That's what's preventing me from going back is the fact that there's only one fur and I've already got all the antler types. It just really leaves me no reason to go back to a Red Deer grind. Non-typical rack is your favorite rack? It is beautiful, man. I love the big non-tip. Will I ever do some more random wheel videos? Yes, Justin, I will. In fact, I'm tempted to maybe record one today. But at the same time, I want to do a, a stream later, so I don't know. I promise you, though, sometime soon we'll do a challenge, uh, a random wheel challenge video. I'm just not 100% sure when we'll be doing it. Yeah, Iconics, there's been a lot of stuff added recently that has been pretty awesome. They've really focused on a lot of free additions and improvements over the last couple updates, so definitely recommend hopping back on if it's been a bit since you played. At least give it a try. Nothing there. Will they render in though? Yes, they will. Little baby level three. Boom. 60 minute trophy challenge. Yeah, we might have to do it again. Definitely a possibility. There's a lot of challenges I'd like to do again. 
Honestly, I think a collaboration random wheels challenge would be kind of cool. Like, uh, maybe Brober and I will both record. And I'll have I'll send him the same wheels that I use. And we'll each spin the wheel and get random loadouts and then have a competition to see who can do best with their loadout. I think that'd be such a cool idea. I think we're going to do that. I'm going to talk to him later and see if he wants to do something like that. Because that sounds like it could be so much fun. Oh my gosh. That actually has me excited. I want to... Oh my gosh, I got to do that. I got to do that. The random wheel challenge instead of just... Oh, what the... There's another one. There's another one over here. Holy, where was that guy? Um, are you talking about the fabled two-tone Silvio or are you talking about the fabled Birch? I'm assuming you're talking about the uh, two-tone. It could be the speckled though. So the speckled is the one that's black with the white face and like little spots. The two-tone is like half black, half white. And then the, uh, the Birch is kind of like a white with a bit more of a brownish, reddish, pinkish tone on its back. And then the, the white rack is the typical, right? That's my favorite antler type. Write it down so I don't forget. I, yes, I will have to. Oh, I forgot about that, Caswell. I forgot about that. Uh, one of these days we'll have to do it. Oak used to be one of my favorites, Justin, but uh, over time it's kind of fell towards the bottom for me. But it is a good fur type. I honestly think all the moose fur types are good. It just comes down to which one you like best, you know? Let's see what we got over here. Nothing. Do a quick little reset. Oh, that's fine, Silvio. That's fine. No worries. Level two there. I have pictures of all the great one moose if you'd like to see. And then you can tell me which one it is. Let me find them. Here we go. Okay, so. Let's get this. This one right here is the fabled speckled. This is the, uh, the fabled speckled right here. This one is the fabled birch. Uh, let's see if I can find the two-tone. And then the one that I got right here in this, uh, thumbnail, this is the one that I got recently. This is the, uh, the fabled two-tone. Uh, which one of these are you referring to, uh, as the piebald? I'm assuming probably the two-tone. Yeah, that's what they look like. And then they also have the, uh, the fabled Ashen right here. This is the fabled Spruce. And then this one's the fabled Oak. Yes, it is the piebald. Okay, I thought so. I thought you were talking about the two-tone. Yeah, the fabled two-tone is what that one's called. That's my, that's one of my favorite ones. It, it's such a beautiful one. Bard, thank you so much for the three months as a member. Holy. Holy, dude. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Three months as a legendary crow. That's just insane. 
That, that is just insane. You are an absolute legend. Really appreciate the the, the long time high level support right there. That, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, the spotted has grown on me a lot. The uh, or uh, the fabled speckled. You have the oak as well. Nice, nice. You like all of them? Me too, Gibbons. It's hard to pick like uh, it's hard to pick favorites when they're all so good. What is that? That looked kind of like a piebald, baby. I saw the butt of a moose and it looked different. Never mind. It's just the lighting. Not actually a different one. Ooh, that's crazy, Owen. That's a quick grind. Pro loves quad pedals for real, for real. I mean, if it's attached to a birch or a two-tone, then sure. Oh, you got a quad paddle, Bart? Holy. I mean, at least you got a great one, right? Oh, there's a little feller. Thing is, I don't want the small ones showing up at these lakes. Uh, Country Life, thank you for the super chat once again. Guess what? Uh, what? What happened? What are we guessing? There's our little five there. See if we can boop this thing. Come on, head up. Boop. Oh, nice, creative. What did you get? What did you end up getting? Country Life, thank you for the super chat. Chicken butt. <laughs> oh, you got me there. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. Am I stacking? Yeah, just until we get our map shot down, then we're going to kill them all and stop stacking. For me, I've whenever we've done herd management in the past, I've only stacked until we have the map where I want it, and then I just shoot everything in the in our main zones. There's that. Some white tail. Oh, there's two males. Wait, there's two males here? Dude, I rarely have two males here. Usually it's just one. That's a little strange. I mean, can't complain though. Good to see an extra male. Come on. There we go. Uh, we're on Rev on Thule. How many kills in am I? We are currently in about 220 probably. Probably like 220 kills I would say. Hey, Alex, welcome back. Revon Tuli is the best map ever. I love it, Silvio. It's really good. Revon Tuli is my favorite map in the whole game. It's just such a masterpiece of a map. Got so many different uh, species, different kinds of species. It's, it's so much fun. Thank you, Bart. Appreciate it. I try my best, Justin. Fl Flinter's pretty awesome too, though. Always enjoyed watching some Flinter content. Flinter's one of the few people that I that I've talked to where like he genuinely tries to see like all sides of every conversation, which is really refreshing to see in today's world. Like Flinter is like uh, he puts a lot of thought into everything he does, which I, I really appreciate. I can definitely respect that. We need a boop emote? We do, Kenneth. We do. We need something like that for sure. Because I, I do say boop quite a bit when we're smoking smoking these uh, moose. Just like, boop, he's dead. That actually would make sense. I think to get another emote, we have to hit, I think, four, I think 500 members if we want another emote. We're currently at 
455. So we need 45 more members before I can get a new emote. So it's probably going to be a bit before then, but I imagine next time there's a new map, we'll probably reach that. That would, that would probably be the time that we would reach the uh, 500 member mark. I cannot wait till June. Like, we need a new map badly. I really hope it's not copy-paste. Because New England was kind of copy-paste. I get why. I mean, they added a bunch of other stuff with that update that I could see being more important, but still. It almost feels like it's been a year since we had a new map because the last one was so lackluster. New England was just not impressive to me. It's a pretty map. And it's got good small game hunting, but other than that, there's not much going for it. It's the first map where I've kind of like, at times, forgot that it even released. Hey Huntress, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing great. Hey, we got a mail there. Want a new map that feels fresh? Me too, me too. We need something that has new species, like lots of them. That's why I'm really hoping that we'll get something like Texas Game Ranch, uh, British Columbia, Australia, Africa 2.0, like those are my top four because there could be so much new stuff with those that would just be incredible. We need something like that. We definitely need something like that in the game. We're doing good, Huntress. We're doing good. Let's see. It's the only one you haven't bothered to get? Yeah, I don't blame you there. New England Mountains is one of those maps where if I wasn't a content creator, it's probably one that I would skip on. Yeah, that'd be awesome, Kathy. That'd be such a huge hit. To be honest, I think it'd probably be easier than Africa 2.0 as well. I definitely think it's more likely than Africa 2.0. But I still got a feeling this next map's gonna be a European one. As much as I'd like to think that it would be something more impressive, and something that we don't already have, it's probably a European map. Just feels like it would make sense since we got that Euro Bison mount. There is a two there. We don't want any level twos in these zones because these are my main zones. All these north zones are the ones that I want to keep as my main ones. So I'm going to try not to stack anything here. Like I'm not, I'm going to try not to stack any twos up here. I want to do that only in the southern and middle parts of the map. Hey, Chip, how's it going, man? Glad you could make it. I think there's still a good chance that Aussie is coming because it wasn't an option in the survey. Maybe, Riggles, maybe. That is a good point. Uh, Johnny pointed something out to me recently where apparently, like, all of the maps that... All the maps that were on a, a poll that they did a few years ago have either come to the game or haven't like two of them ended up coming to the game and then two of them were remaining on the list so my brother suspects that they could be doing something like uh australia or africa 2.0 and i think he may be onto something it's possible there's just so many options and there's been so many times where something didn't mean as much as we thought it did but man i don't know Um, I don't know what that would be in English. Is that the, uh, let me go up. Let me read. So you got the oak and then, oh, fabled two-tone. Fabled two-tone is the one that, the one that you're talking about, I think. Yeah, fabled two-tone. What animals could they add to Africa? 
Oh, there's a lot of them. There is hundreds of different antelope species in Africa. Not to mention there could be stuff like leopards. There could be zebras. There could be uh, cheetahs. There's also stuff like the hyena. There's a lot of different species that they could do for Africa 2.0. There really is a lot of them. Hippos are one where it could be cool, but I don't think they would ever do it. I can tell you one thing, I doubt they'll ever do hippos, rhinos, or elephants. Just because those are some of the ones where some people are very against those being hunted in real life and it could cause issues with, like, controversy. I, I don't agree with that being an excuse not to do it, but it's kind of how they've took the stance in the past that they didn't want to do anything that could potentially be controversial. It's crazy because when you look at it, European bison are actually, I believe, very endangered and in some places they become extinct. Like, there's a lot of places that used to have them that don't anymore. Um, they're not completely extinct because they still do exist. But, yeah, like, if you want to talk about, like, controversy, that should be more controversial, like, the Eurobison, but... Because stuff like elephants are more widely known as being endangered and stuff, I think they're more worried about that just because more people seem to care about, like, um, the Big Five and stuff like that. So I think that's why they've chose not to do it. Because, like, you ask somebody uh, what the current, like, endangered state is of a Euro Bison, they're probably like, I don't know. Because it's not really an animal people talk about. Which is probably why they felt like they could do it. Oh, I agree, Gideon. I agree. Is it, um, is it Gideon or Gideon? Let me know which one it is. But yeah, I agree. I agree with that, but I, I'm just trying to make sense of, like, what their logic is for it. I think that's how they feel about it. They became extinct in the UK. Yeah, I, I knew that. Yeah, that was definitely one of the ones that I read up on. That is pretty wild. So, like, uh, I think that's the reason that they kind of feel that way, but it would be cool to have some of the crazy stuff like elephants. Man, that'd be awesome. Yeah, an elk great one would be really good. It'd be really good. There we go. I'm sure, Pog. If you want to send it to Discord, I'll respond to it after we get done streaming. The thing is, like, uh, it'll be hard for me to judge your setup because I don't know what your zones look like. Like, I can't really judge a setup if I don't know how many red deer are in each of those zones, you know? Because everybody's map's a little bit different on where the, zo the zones are going to be placed. I just bit my tongue. Ow. Yeah, everybody's map is a little bit different in terms of where the zones are going to be, so... It's hard to... It's hard to rate a setup without knowing, like, what, what type of zones you got. Oh, definitely, Silvio. It, it's a lot of work. For sure. Um, my last great one took 1,200 kills to get. The one before took 4,500, like... It does take time. It definitely does. And I think there's definitely some people that see uh, YouTubers getting them all the time and don't realize that they're putting in a lot of hours off camera to get them. Or even just like I do. I do hours of streaming. And yeah, that one's not going to show up, I don't think. Don't believe so. Uh, we can check down here. <laughs> yeah, Kathy, pretty much. It's like, ah, uh -huh. oh gosh. Is six diamonds good for level 19? Uh, yeah, that's that's really good, actually. <laughs> that That's way better than I did. My first diamond was at level 51, so that that's pretty good. 
That's a lot of diamonds for level 19. Okay, nothing notable there. Yeah, I think what we're going to end up doing, guys, is we'll do this on stream, and then I'll shoot down the more boring zones whenever I'm off stream. I think that'll make it the most entertaining possible. Your first diamond was at level 20. Wow, Zaki. Always trying to one-up me. I see how it is. I see how it is, man. I see how it is. To be fair, though, I guess, uh, I guess I didn't really even know what a diamond was until I was, like, level 40. Because I played a lot when the game first came out. And at that point, we didn't even know diamonds were a thing. Nothing there. Is three diamonds and three rares good for level 23? Uh, yes. Yes, that would be good. That indeed would be good. I think there's a male here. I think it's up in the trees. No, that's it. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't see it. Oh my gosh, it's a one. That thing is adorable. I mean, I don't want it in this zone, so we're gonna have to kill it, but... I mean... We could leave it for now, I guess. Not too often you get a level one to spawn. <laughs> I think we'll keep him. We'll keep him and we'll give him a name. I'm gonna name him Spike. Back here, Spike. Hey, Spike, how you doing? <laughs> that thing is tiny. So there's our five right there. Uh, we didn't get a respawn for the other one. To be honest, I got a sneaking suspicion that that five is going to troll. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Jimmy, that's rough. That's really bad. 15,000 kills? You are getting very unlucky, sir. Very, very unlucky. I mean, hopefully it'll pop soon, man. That's a big four. That's a good looking for it. Okay, so we're consistently getting two males here now. I wonder if some of my respawns have come back that I was missing. I hope so, because that was rough just losing half of them. Ooh, double hard shot. Uh, oh no, he's floating. Quick, change the time. He's floating. Run! We gotta get him back to the shore. There we go. He's back on the shore. And the white tailor here for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll stop. It's the only. It's the only pun today. You got a diamond yet? Uh, no. We've been stacking them instead. We've got two on the map that could potentially be diamonds. So we'll see. I'm on a roll, Chip. I'm on a roll with the uh, with the puns and the dad jokes the last few days. I gotta do it. <laughs> That's Cap. Okay, you're you're right, Kathy. I, I'm probably not done with the puns. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm always I'm always punny around. I said that wrong. That would have been hilarious if I had actually got that. Uh, you know, what? I messed that joke up. I did. I was gonna say I'm always punny. And then, at the same time, I was thinking I was gonna say, I'm always punning around. But, and then I said, I'm always, I'm always punny around, and that did not work at all. <laughs> that, that did not work at all. Not one bit. Later, Gibbons, thank you for being here. Silvio, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate that. Enjoy all of the, uh, perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it. Welcome. There is a level three there. Little white tail over there too. Hello? 
That got his attention. Boop. Yeah, you guys are right. We do need a boop emote. I, I just realized I say it way more than I thought I did. We definitely need a boop emote. Oh, there's three there. One of them's a two. I don't want a two there, though. I like this zone. How much is it to become a member? Uh, 99 cents. I made it as low as it would allow me to. What do I think about Irish Elk? Ah, uh, they're cool. That's the, uh, Megaloceros, right? Rev is awesome. It is, Tucker. It's great. It is amazing. Love me some Rev on Thule. Hey, it's Zyke. You didn't miss too much. Uh, we did get a pretty big four to spawn that could potentially make Diamond. We still have him on the map because we're trying to shoot down the rest of the map, but we got a couple nice moose on the map. Parquet has better moose hunting. I feel like that's big cap right there, Zaki. Not gonna lie, but that, that just seems like you're capping, bro. Best map to make cash? Um... There's a couple that are really, really good. Uh, Tiaboroa is an absolute money factory. But so is Silver Ridge Peaks. They're probably my two favorite maps for money making, though Verhonga can also be pretty good. Those are like the top three maps for making money. Uh, mainly due to the amount of animals that are on those maps and just how... How plentiful they are. Like, they're in such easy areas to hunt in most cases that those maps are just gold mines for cash. Me too, Puzzle Bow. I, I really missed it, man. Like, it, it was the most fun I ever had making content on the channel was when we were doing herd management. So it makes me really happy that I can bring it back at least a little bit. We're not bringing it back to the extent that I did before. I'm going to make sure there's a good mix of every kind of content because I know that you guys love to see all of it and I personally really enjoy making all of it as well. So it's not going to be the only thing we do, but it's nice that I can do it here and there and not have to worry about how it's seen by the devs. Okay, that's the only one there. No more males. All right. Nothing there either. Oh, definitely, uh, Blake, of course. I'd still play it. I probably wouldn't play it as much, though. Because part of the fun for me is making content on it. There's a capper, Cali. No cap. Actually, yes, cap. There is a cap over there. Lots of cap. The most cap we've had all stream, literally. ARL, thank you so much for the membership. Dude, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy all of the perks that come with that. The emotes, the uh, extra uploads, and the extra Discord channels. Really appreciate it. There we go. He finally died. Do I need to set up herds for moose? You mean what do you mean like set up herds? Are you talking about set up like um Are you talking about setting up your tents and tripods on your zones? You don't have to, but it, it's definitely beneficial to finding your moose faster. Like if you've got tents set up, you'll be able to get to them quicker. Holy Hunter 11, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. Welcome back. Have to go in a couple minutes? No worries, Miles. No worries. Thank you, Kay. How many zones am I rotating on currently? Uh, currently about 15. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to start out by trying to stack some fives in my favorite zones that we've been hunting. And then once I've got a few fives stacked, I'll start trying to shoot down the rest of the map 
And then after I get a bunch of them shot down, we'll go back to the main zones, try to get more fives, and just kind of alternate between those. Um, because I really don't want to have any of my favorite zones become, like, dead. Or become, like, all twos. So I'm trying to be careful with how we do this since I'd already been grinding on the map a good bit before we decided to do it. That is a two. Okay, that one, or that little two we've been leaving. Well, that's a good four. We'll take that four down. What animals have great ones? Uh, the moose, the whitetail, the red deer, and the black bear. Currently. Those are the current ones currently that have a great one. With the moose being my favorite one. Boom, there we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, that shot. I'm surprised we hit that. I am surprised we hit that. Go to the two-tone lake, trust. We will be going there soon. Don't you worry. We'll be going there. There we go. We got that guy back on the shore. Great one, Whitetail should have fur types. I agree, Caswell. I mean, currently it does have fur types. They're just actually proper rares. So there is like a, a fabled piebald, but it's so rare that there's been less than 10 of them confirmed to be legit over the years that it's been released. And only one person has ever got an albino great one, Whitetail. So they're so rare. I wish there was some that we could get that were a little bit easier while also still keeping the super difficult ultra rares. Can you set uh, Ravantulia for both deer and moose with the same tents? Uh, you definitely could, unknown. A lot of the zones up here that I've been hunting for moose, if I go to whitetail time, I have whitetail there as well, so it's definitely possible to do. A lot of the uh, lakes that have whitetail also have moose, so... You can definitely do both grinds at once. That's our potential diamond four. The more I look at it, the more I think that it's not a diamond, though. Kind of feels like it's one of the smaller variations of that rack. Ah! What do you guys think? For those of you that are just jumping in and hadn't already seen this guy, does that look like a diamond to y'all? <laughs> I think it could be, but it might be the smaller variation too. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's the one that can make diamond, but I don't know. 277. He's pretty big, widespread. Yeah, I, I feel like it is the diamond one. So we'll probably stack him until we get a uh, five here. What's the best trophy I've killed? Um, I don't know what my best is, but my favorite is the two-tone moose that we got a few days ago. That's my favorite trophy I've ever found. I'd say, like, best in terms of rarity, though, is probably the Diamond Melamoose I have. You guys think that it'll make it? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling, too. I feel like it could make it, so I, I'm tempted to just leave it. I think we'll leave it for a little bit, at least. Welcome back, Nathan. Welcome back. Nice little gold level three. Not with you, Nathan. Oh, getting roasted over here, Nathan. Are you, are you going to take that, Nate? Just getting absolutely roast. Oh my gosh, a one. Dude, we're spawning so many ones now. We're, I, I'm curious. Do we have a, did we get a great one to spawn? That's an that's a absurd amount of level ones. I'm actually... Is there something on the map that's pushing the scores down? Either we got a bunch of fives to spawn, or a great one, or something. 
That is really odd. We've seen like three or four level ones today. That's not normal. That's a lot of ones in one day. Um, I mean, I guess we gotta leave that thing, right? That might be minimum weight, to be honest. That genuinely might be a minimum weight moose. Really makes me wonder if I should be checking like some of the zones we hunted earlier. That's pretty awesome, Silvio. That's pretty awesome. A 285 diamond piebald. That that is quite the trophy. So what do you guys think? Should we go check some of these other lakes? Maybe this one? Hey, Zevin, how's it going, dude? Check all your zones for the great one? Maybe. I think we'll check the ones where we actually shot something. The two? What do we got there? Female. Okay, so nothing came back here. Got some tents down here. You dropped a piebald big rack? That's pretty crazy, Kay. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's do a quick reset. Are white tail only on the north side of the map? Um, they're in the like top three quarters. So white tail can't be down here. Like, uh, Pretty much like down in this area and below they can't be, but then they can be on the rest of the map. So basically like all of this is where they can be. So yeah, like three quarters of the map you can find whitetail. That's a cow. That's a three. We definitely need to kill that. Twenty-five to fifty. Let's go grab him. Really, Chip? I wonder if it's because everybody's focusing on the brand new one. Cause that brand new one, like, I, I mean, it, it's a it's a brand new legendary. I feel like everybody's going for that. Alexander, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that: the emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it. What's, uh, what's GRR? Um, GRR is an angler map. It's Golden Ridge Reserve from, uh, Call of the Wild, the angler. So it's not, a it's not related to the hunter Call of the Wild. It's a different game. People are looking. Well, that's going to be interesting to see where they find it. Imagine they added a new spawn location for it. That'd be pretty crazy. How do you become a member? Uh, via the join button, WW. If you don't see a join button, then you can use the link that Chip just put in chat. And if you can't find that, there's also a link in the description of the stream. What map do I want in June? Well, in terms of maps that I want, I really want uh, Africa 2.0, Australia, uh, British Columbia, a Texas game ranch map and uh, in terms of what I think we'll get I think we'll get a European map possibly Sweden are there great one fish in the angler there's not great one fish but there is a like their own version of them called legendary fish the big difference, though, is legendary fish have a set spawn point. And every week they cycle out which legendary is currently active. So only one legendary fish is active at a time. 
and they kind of change locations every week. They move them around, and then it's up to the community to find where it is, and then once somebody finds where it is, literally everybody just races to that location. Every server you join, everybody races to that location to catch the legendary fish. It's honestly pretty cool to be a part of. Uh, we got to see it in uh, the video that I uploaded today. Like, everybody was fishing in the spot where that legendary pike was. It was pretty crazy to see. I'm glad that I started getting back into the angler because it's actually been a very enjoyable, uh, enjoyable time. The game has improved a lot since its original release. Quite a lot. Which is awesome to see. Really awesome to see. Uh, I think a lot of the ones that we shot were down here, right? We shot one over here. We should probably go check that spot. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, Jimmy. I've enjoyed it. Hey, Tucson, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Can I help you get a diamond? Uh, we have tons of different diamond guides on the channel that could help you out quite a bit. I definitely recommend checking some of them out. Definitely recommend it. That's a big four. This zone always respawns a four. You know what, guys? I'm tempted to use this as a main zone. There's an outpost literally right next to it, and it has been mad consistent. Like, every time I go here, there's a male, and most of the times it's been a four. For sure, Nathan, for sure. Always a fun time, man. Always a fun time. How's the landing method work on the angler? Like landing the fish with the bar thing? Um, so right now, I don't know if they plan to do anything in the future with it, but as of now, you get the fish close, and if it's a larger one, uh, once you get it close to you, you have to hold down space bar to secure the catch, and during that time period, the fish could, like, dart away again if you're not fast enough. And the bigger the fish, the longer it takes to fill that bar. So you could have to hold the bar for a few seconds on some of the bigger catches. And with some of them, that might just be enough time for them to get out of the way again and start taking line. So it, it's kind of a cool mechanic. I'm really hoping to see, like, animations in the future, though, for, like, uh, picking them up and things like that. But this is a good first step, I think. Got 10 diamond white tail and 858 kills. Not bad, soul. Not bad. Looking good, my dude. There's our level four. U24. There's been a lot of big fours popping up. We've had an absurd amount of fours and ones. Like, not a lot of stuff in between. There's been a lot of ones and a lot of fours spawning today. That's like the last thing I would have expected. I expected it to be skewed one way or the other, but it's been like fours and ones. <laughs> nice, Jimmy. Nice. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like that either, Daniel. I have not seen anything like that either. And it, it is kind of cool though. I The way I see it is like, it's not a huge change, but it can definitely change like um, how easy it is to get bigger fish in. Cause it used to be like, you got it close enough and just boom, you caught it. Now you got to take like a couple seconds to secure the catch. And I guess that's their way of simulating you having to like pick the fish up out of the water without actually having to like show any animations. I really hope eventually we do get full animations for taking the fish out of the water, though. That would be pretty awesome. That'd be really awesome. Frontal shots haven't been penetrating to the whitetail. What gun are you using, uh, Trey, and what ammo type? All right, later, Jimmy.
Hey Braxton, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing good, Statler. I'm doing really well. Having a lot of fun. Hey! Really? You wait till I walk up and then you float. What a rude moose. Who are you away, Polytip? You should be able to get penetration. I use that for Whitetail all the time. In fact, that's my go-to combo. Uh, no, the Rhino has not been nerfed. It has not been nerfed. The, uh, the 454 is still a monster against stuff like Moose. It is still really, really good. Um, I don't know, Titanus. So the thing about Way of the Hunter is it takes more time to get any animals. So if you only have an hour a day... I don't know if Way of the Hunter would be the best use of your time if you're if you're trying to play a hunting game that you can just pick up and play. Way of the Hunter, if you just play an hour, you're probably only going to kill like a few animals. It depends on if that's what you want or if you want realism. If you want realism, Way of the Hunter is definitely the good... The good option to go with. It, it's hard to like recommend one or the other because I don't know like what you prefer playing. There we go. Nice, Bart. Uh, no, Landon, that, that, that won't, uh, affect anything. If you stack a few in one zone, it's the same as stacking them in different zones. Uh, with shenanigans, thank you so much for the membership. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, the, uh, extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Really appreciate it. Because I reset the time multiple times throughout a run, Andrew, the thing about um, the animals in Call of the Wild is if you get to a zone and there's nothing there, you can reset the time to force them into the zone. So I, I don't really have a need to set it back any more than an hour. And not to mention that animals tend to be in their zones more reliably if you're later in the drink time. Like if I set it to 12 every time, there's a good chance that most of them won't even be at their zone yet. But if I set it at like 14 or 15, then they will be uh, much more likely to be in their zones. And that works for any species. Uh, yeah, Bart, I did do an Easter stream. It was an Easter grinding stream, though. I was just grinding moose with the Easter skins on the rifles. And then I did an Easter video where we hunted, uh... Where we hunted rabbits with the 470. So we did a few things for Easter. One fifty-eight. That is quite great. Yeah, definitely, Daniel. They for sure made a lot of improvements, but there's a lot of work that could still be done to make the game even better. And I guess something that a lot of us forget about Call of the Wild is that the Hunter Call of the Wild was not a very good game for the first couple years. The Hunter Call of the Wild was in such a rough state the first couple years of development to the point where I didn't even play it for the first couple years really. I, I played like 70 hours on launch and then didn't play it until they released new maps. Because back when the Hunter Call of the Wild was first released it was just not great. There was a lot of issues. There was not a lot of content. Uh, the angler is kind of suffering from the same thing. I think the angler is going to improve over the over the years, and in a few years, it'll probably be one of the best fishing games out. That's kind of the way they do things. They release a game and then develop it over time. That seems to always be the way the EW does it. Hey, Dylan, how's it going?
Oh, there it is. I was looking at chat and completely missed it. Take that, Moosey. Get smoked. Uh, yeah, Bart, it was it was something back then. It, it was something. It was an interesting game. Very different from the game we see now. Oh, definitely, Nathan. Like, uh, it is a very large amount of improvements that they made, especially with the water. The water's the most notable one for me. Like, they really improved the look of the water in the angler over just... Like, what, a year's worth of updates? Maybe a little bit less than a year? Pretty impressive. No more boat water. Oh, gosh, I remember that. I remember the waterlogged boats. That was something for sure. There's that little baby one. Thank you, Statler. Glad you enjoy them. There's our big boy. There's our big boy five right there. Nothing else. Ah, uh, man. I think we're actually going to go ahead and call it here, guys. We've been going for two and a half hours. Um, and I'm thinking about doing another stream tonight, so I need a little bit of time in between. I appreciate everybody being here, though. It's been quite fun. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed it as well. But yeah, we might be back later. I'm not sure. But until then, thank you all for being here and watching. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.